I've been with NC for three years now, I want to say three and a half years. Um, and it's been incredible to be working on like a full-time basis with a company who's doing something that I want to do. I think uh, online media is, it's been around for a while, but it's, it's like a relatively new thing in um, like the performance aspect uh, for actors. And it's so cool to kind of be in something that like now everyone's like, uh, everyone wants to be a part of it. It's really fun and, and it's such a good group of people. And the fact that it's been around for 10 years is crazy because like that was really when it first started, it was 10 years ago. It's so like that's right when, if you've been doing it for 10 years, you, you started right at the beginning. Um, I think that's so, so neat. And uh, just shows that it's a great product that has been around and held fast the whole time. Uh, and it's just a great group of people and I love them. I started on working with Channel Awesome in 2012 on Demo Reel, and starting on that, like, it was kind of, it, it honestly was kind of like a, a dream come true sort of moment. Like, I was actually being involved in a project that was being, you know, publicized, and it was really exciting. And um, seeing Demo Reel, you know, get canceled, it, it kind of broke my heart. I was like, like, well, damn it, all right, that was my 15 minutes of fame, you know, I gotta get used to the industry, you know, things like this will happen, I'll just move on to the next thing, but um, Doug ended up calling us like, uh, like two weeks later saying, hey, I'm thinking about bringing back, you know, the Nostalgia Critic, and, um, you know, if you guys wanna, you know, come on and try out this new format I got going, you know, you're welcome to, and I was like, yeah, sure, and, um, since then, it's just been like, you know, it's come back with like a vengeance. It's really been a lot of fun and just, it's really changed like my course of direction as far as like an actor and filmmaker and I, it's been a hell of a ride and I, I'm excited to see where it goes next. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Well, it was, it started out in uh, Doug's bedroom in our house and uh, it was really, really sort of neat because he would film it and then he'd call us in and he'd say, what do you think of this? And uh, Doug's mother and I would sit there and we'd say, wait, well, this is really great, but you gotta change like this one little thing like this, it'll even be better. And he was very good listening to our comments and he would do it and then he moved away from the house and that's when it went downhill and no one ever heard of him again. It's uh, been incredible. Yeah, I've been with the company very early on uh, I shot a lot of the stuff for like the behind the scenes and the brawl and stuff like that and uh, would do yeah some behind the scenes kind of camera work and stuff like that and then eventually I started doing the Photoshop stuff. But um, it really wasn't until we opened the studio and then they asked me to come in and you know, be the art director basically and make sets and props and stuff like that that uh, yeah it was like the opportunity of a lifetime you know. It was, uh, I still have to pinch myself every day that this is what I get to do for a living. I come into work and I get to play with, you know, cool stuff all day. Um, a fever dream I never wake up from. And I can't believe I'm still here. <laughs> it's... Ah, there's, there's really no words. I mean, I can try, but it, but it wouldn't match them. Uh, it's one of those things, you do it as a hobby, you don't think it'll become a job, but you kind of hope, you know, but even if it doesn't, you're kind of glad you did because you're doing what you love. And so few people get to do what they love for a living. And the fact that I can is just so amazing. Uh, and I, I can never be more thankful. I mean, I can try as hard as I can, but it'll never match it. I mean, it just really changed my life. It changed who I am. The people I watch it change who I am. And all these cliches about Oh, the, the people, they, they really are everything. The fans, they mean the world. Yeah, the cliches, but they're really right because those are the things you want to say. You really would be nothing without these people. Uh, and, and when they tell you and they say they help you through stuff and everything, I mean, that's, that's the world. That's like, there's, there's still no words. That's the closest I can come, though. Interaction with fans has been incredible. I think going to conventions is, one of my favorite things, it's like the highlights of my year, uh, is you, it, you just get like flooded with such kind words and um, just so much positivity and, and love and it's such a neat thing to, to feel that with something that you're actively involved in. It's like really <laughs> exciting. 
It is fun to do this. It is absolutely great to work with our crew who has been relatively stable here uh, for about the last four or five years. And uh, every other Tuesday when we shoot, it's neat to come in and see what we're gonna do. Even though we get the scripts on Thursday, no one ever reads them. So we come in and we see what we're actually gonna shoot. But the most fun part of the whole thing is uh, in building sets, whether it's doing music, costumes, props, whatever, I get to play with my kids again. Yeah, I'm still always shocked that people know who I am if I you know, go to a convention or something like that. Um, but it's always, yeah, it's uh, a lot of fun to interact with uh, fans and stuff like that. I love seeing uh, people who've seen my awesome builds or something, or they say that they made something that uh, I put on one of my build shows or a character that I played on the NC or something like that they really love or whatever. It's always cool and fun to meet those people and talk to those people. So, um, yeah, I always look forward to it at conventions and stuff like that. The conventions are the most fun, uh, just because it's really fun meeting fans like face to face. And it, I think the best thing is just when they come up and just like, yeah, I was going through a hard time and like your guys' comedy got me through it. And that's always like the best for us because, you know, like we're human. I think, right? Um, and comedy like gets us through a lot of hard things, so it's good to know then the same way we watch other people's works, and it's like, yeah, like it got me through a rough time that like we can have that effect on people. So it's, I mean, it's not the only reason we do it because it's also a job, but it's like the really awesome bonus. Like we always just love hearing that. The fans are wonderful. The people I work with are wonderful. The studio's wonderful, my boss is wonderful, my family's wonderful. I'm in a wonderful place, and I have a lot of wonderful people to thank for that.